Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today's video will be on this makeup look that I have on today. It's a nice smoky purple eye with a wing liner and some false lashes. I just thought it'd be fun to use false lashes today and to make a tutorial on it. Um, so if you like this look, stay tuned to see how I did it. So the first color I'm going to start off with is my Maybelline Color Tattoo in Painted Purple. So this is the color. It's a nice, vibrant purple. I'm going to use this as my base. So I'm just going to get my finger in, and then I'm just going to place it all over my eyelid. So here we go. We're just going to pat this all around just the eyelid up to the crease. This will set up a good base for your eyeshadows later, and it will help um, the color purple to just pop. Get that on, blend it. Make sure you don't go too thick because then that will just cause creasing. Alright, so the next color I'm going to be going in with is my NYX eyeshadow in purple. And it's this nice vibrant grape color. So I'm going to go in MAC 280 brush. Just pack the color on. And then I'm just going to pack it on to my lid using patting motions. And patting just helps make the color more intense versus just brushing it onto your eye. So I'm just going to pat around my eyelid and up to my crease area. So the second color that I'm going to go in with is my L'Oreal Infallible. So it's like a nice darker purple. And I'm going to be using my Sigma pencil brush and just going to go in and get it all on this brush. Tap off the excess. And then I'm just going to put this color right on the outer corner of my eye. So I'm going to start here and make this nice V shape. Just concentrate the color out here. And this just helps bring dimension to your eye. Now I'm also going to take the darker purple and bring it on my lower lash line. Just on the outer half of it. And now I'm going to go back in with my first purple color and put that on my lower lash line but towards the inner corner. And now you should have something looking like this. Two different colors of purple and the darker one just adding more dimension to your look. Now I'm going to go in with my Sigma Crease brush and I'm going to dip it in some bronzer. Um, for my last make a video you'll see that I use, sometimes use my bronzer as an eyeshadow and as my contour. So I'm going to dip it in, tap it off, it's going to follow the outside edge of the purple and just brush back and forth to blend the colors. And a bronzer color or any medium soft brown color just helps bring a warmer look into your eye color. The next color I will be going in with is my L'Oreal Infallible Ice Latte. This is a nice shimmery, more of a nude champagne color. And I'm actually going to use this for highlighting right under my eyebrow. I'm going to go back in with my shadow brush. And I'm just going to pop this right under my eyebrow right here. This so will add a nice shimmery color. Use my finger to just blend it out and lighten it up a little. And then I'm going to use a little bit more into my inner corners. Just to add some light and to make my eyes pop a little bit more. Now that we have the shadows on, I'm going to be using my Physician's Formula Liquid Eyeliner. And I'm going to line my upper lash line. So just like in my last video, I'm just going to line the top line like so. I'm 
and then I'm going to now make my wing. So once again, I'm just going to look at my lower lash line, see where it is, and then just follow it up. Make a flick, and then I'm going to fill in the outer corner by making a little triangle and connecting everything together. Now you should have a nice wing liner to your purple look. Next, I'll be going in with some false lashes. The ones I'm using today is by Eilor, and it comes in a box like this, and it has a little blue stick. It looks like this. And with false eyelashes, it's always important to trim it so it fits your eye. Um, so you're just going to put it on your eye first, like this, just to see how much you need to take off. So you can see it's a little longer than my eye. So now I'm just going to take a pair of little scissors and just trim off about mm, a quarter of the ends off. And then I'm going to use my Duo Eyelash Adhesive. It's a very popular brand so you can find this anywhere. And then you're going to put a nice thin strip of lash glue onto your falsies. Now the important part is to wait for about 30 seconds to let the glue get a little tacky before you stick it on your eye because if you stick it on a little early it's just going to slide around and just make a mess of what you already have on your eye. Now that they're a little tacky, I'm just going to go ahead and place it onto upper lash line and you want to get as close as possible as you can to your real lashes but without actually touching them. So it's going to look into my mirror. And I just use my fingers and I just place it on towards the middle. I start with the outer ends first. Just gonna press that in and then I'm gonna go into my inner part of my eye and press that in. As close as to my lash line as possible. And there you go. Now I have some falsies on. After you get your false eyelashes on, you can go in with mascara. And I'm going to be using my Maybelline Pumped Up Colossal Volume Express Waterproof. So I'm just going to go in and just add a very light coat just to blend the lashes all together. And I'm going to use a little bit on my lower lashes just to add a little bit of definition to my lower lashes. And now your eyes should be done. You should have this beautiful, smoky, purple eye look. And now I'm going to go ahead and finish up with the rest of my face. So the, I'm going to be using my Rimmel Natural Bronzer in the color Sun Bronze. Looks like this. I like this bronzer. It's not too red. It's not too orange. I'm going to use my Sigma F05 brush. Just get in the color, tap off the excess, and contour my cheekbones. And bring it up to my temples and forehead. I'm going to do the same to the other side. My cheekbones up to the temples, and then bring the rest onto my forehead. Staying close to my hairline so it looks more natural. And then any excess, I just bring it down to my jawline. And the blush that I am using today is the Wet n Wild color in Heather Silk. And it's this nice, mauvey, rosy pink color. I think this color would look good on all skin tones. You want to be careful with these Wet n Wild blushes because they're really pigmented, so a little goes a long way. So I'm just going to tap this right onto my cheekbones and bring it back I like tapping it because it helps me place the color where I want it to be and get some more color on tap off the excess and get my other cheek just tap 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 and 
and then I'm going to go blend them both out. So I like to blend it down and then bring it up towards my temples. If you feel like you put too much blush on, you can always go back with a translucent powder or whatever setting powder that you use to set your foundation with and get a fluffy brush, tap it into your powder, and then just lightly go over your blush to help lighten the look up. So my final step is lipstick or lip gloss or whatever you prefer using. Um, since this is more of a darker, colorful look, I'm going to be wearing more of a neutral lip color. So the one I'll be wearing today is my Revlon Lip Butter in the color Juicy Papaya. It's this nice peachy color. It's not too bright and it's not too sheer. So it just gives you the right amount of color for your lips. Alright, and this is the finished look. Now you should have a nice vibrant purple smoky eye with some false lashes and a wing liner and a nice neutral peach lip. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please click thumbs up on the bottom bar and subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more from me. Thanks. Bye. Now I'm going to go in with a Sigma crease bar. I'm now going to go in with my Sigma crease bar.